Okay, let's assume you are trying to create a test where you want to test a lot of things like end-to-end -end testing. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have an e-commerce website and you want to make sure ad product is working as an admin. So after logging in as admin, you want to make sure you can add a product on admin dashboard. So this is one test. And in this test, you can actually randomize a product name where it can be Apple for the first run. In the second run, it would be orange. So Prefly will do that automatically for you. But after this test, I want to make sure I use this product and then I check out this product as client. For this, we have to set up another test for client login. And then after client login, we can check out a product and then we will actually map whatever we created in the first test as an admin, which will be created product as product, uh, created product as apple and we are going to search that apple in the second test let's take a look at how we can actually do this on your web application demo website and what we are going to do we are going to add a person and then we are going to search a person with the exact same login okay let's just jump right in so here we have a workflow i already have created workflow yeah let's create a new workflow and we are going to call this one add person and a search person obviously we require you to create some test cases in this case it will be add person and i will add another test which is search person and i will submit this workflow and i will show you what it is going to be inside let's get in again go to the workflow let me expand add person okay we have an add person test and this add person test has login test which tells us it will first login we can also see it right here it will go to login it will type test at test.com and it will type our password click on sign in and that's going to be our login test we can also customize these only in this workflow but i will explain that in a second i just want to show you that this test has its own login and in the workflow, it will first log in because it will not have any session in this box. So you want to make sure you see the login right here. If you don't see it, you can go to test and add that login. You can find out how to add a login test in previous videos. Okay, here we are adding a new person. So we navigate to dashboard. We click on add person in the test. And then we are going to randomize a first name, which is going to be Lillian. And when we add this person, we want to search this person after adding it. So the way we can do this in the search person test. So we navigate to dashboard and then we type jack so this is where we are actually typing the jack let me show you on your web app there's a search people input right here so we want to type lillian right here instead of jack we have a test if you run this test individually it will type jack because that's what in the test but in the workflow we can take that test and then customize it and then type lillian how we can do that so lillian the the random first name that preflight generated right we want to take that so i want to customize this in this workflow only instead of jack which is constant i'll click on the variable and then okay if it's grayed out it means it's a constant value i don't want this i'll go to use and as you can see we see lillian this is actually coming from the first test and i'll click on here if i hover this you will see that it it says name dot first name brackets number one that means use the first generated first name if i apply as you can see the preview is lillian if i save and if i run this test i will see that we will create a new person and then we are going to search that person okay this is going to be it workflow gives you a lot of power around end-to-end -end testing it's so easy to map variables it's so easy to reuse some of the components see you in the next one